stars, not ours to see. Que sera, sera. Hello Tipsters and Tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vidya Tips and Tricks video. Today I thought I would bring you behind the scenes, I have a little bit of work to do, yay! <laughs> Some lovely clients that I previously worked for as a model have actually sent me a bunch of clothing to shoot, so I will be shooting that today and then uh, sending the clothing and the photos back to them, so essentially doing the same job but I will be makeup artist, photographer, and model all in one, and a little bit of editing for one of the clients too. So it's very, very kind of them to do that. Lovely Jade of Scarlet Rage Vintage has sent me stuff, and obviously it's gonna go straight up on the website, so I will be showing you guys that clothing today. And if there is any pieces that you like, it will be for sale, so you can buy it. I'm not keeping it much to my distress because some of the pieces are absolutely stunning and so my style, but I'm sure someone out there will buy the pieces and love them and cherish them as they should be. So I'm gonna start shooting, guys. There will be some little behind the scenes getting ready stuff, and then you'll see me in action, how I create the photos for my Instagram, but also for my clients as well. So this is today's haul for Scarlet Rage Vintage that I need to shoot. So many beautiful pieces, like the detail on this, absolutely stunning. And this little matching set with like a treasure, treasure trove chest embroidered on it with amazing velvet capris with a matching little motif, so beautiful. This I'm obsessed with. This is so beautiful and this is all rouged and it's like mid-calf, maybe ankle length. I'll find out when I shoot it. This stunning piece, which I'm assuming is maybe 1930s, potentially 1940s. It is taffeta, so I'm not sure with that one. I'm sure you'll find out when you look on Jade's website and then <laughs> my dirty pile of washing. <laughs> And then a beautiful long 1930s lace piece with button detail and a slip to go underneath. So very, very excited to shoot all of this.
No, not at all. Morning guys! It is the next day and today I have to edit the pictures and I have to send the items back. So I also obviously have to make this into a video and post it. So I've got a lot to do today. So I'm not going to be looking as glamorous as I did yesterday. This is going to be the uniform for editing and doing chore stuff. There are the packages ready to go in the mail so later on I'm going to have to go to the post office. It is all sunny and beautiful at the moment, so hopefully it will stay that way when I walk to the post office because it is a bit of a hike. And I don't really want to get rained on, I'm not going to lie. But to get out in the sunshine will kind of be nice, I think. <laughs> Please excuse the colours, guys, but... I was actually filming for another video and paused to let my rollers dry and was editing this video and realized I never did an outro. So I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes of how I shoot myself um, when I'm not getting someone else to take pictures for me, how I work for my clients and maybe get some ideas for yourself on how you can make your pictures. You don't have to have like a DSLR to do this. You can use the timer on your phone, which is how I started as well. But I do highly recommend getting some decent lighting or at least trying to shoot with natural lighting through a big window or something or even outside but that can be tricky outside so i hope that the video was helpful and that you enjoyed it if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below let me know what you thought of the video maybe share it with anyone you think might be interested in it come and follow me on my instagram join us in the veggie tips and tricks facebook group we would love to have you and i will see you in the next video bye